Hi, I'm Chuck Dorsett for Weaver Leathercraft, and this is The Leather Element. If you've got a good question for us, or a good idea for a leather element, drop it in the comment box below. Now this week, yeah, a little hesitant, I'm going to be as diplomatic as I can here. You'll see where I'm going with this, but we're going to talk about using a resist. Yeah, I think I just heard a collective groan. If you've used the resist and you weren't happy with it, join the club. Now, if you're new to leather work, a resist, what we can do is we can paint this on a certain part of our project. Therefore, that portion will resist the dye, thus giving us a two-tone look. We'll get a better look at this in just a second, because is that not gorgeous? I love that look. But for me, I've never been able to get a resist to work like I think it should. Now, I've had a couple people say, oh yeah, they work great. But when I press, what I find out is, well, we have to paint it on, wait overnight for it to dry, paint on another one, wait for it to dry, paint on another coat, wait for, no, <laughs> not, no. So, all right, I've done this a certain way and I've always been kind of quiet about it because it's not the way you're supposed to do it, okay? This is what brings this whole situation up. We were at the Rocky Mountain Leather Trade Show last weekend in Wyoming, and I shared in Wyoming, and I saw one of the names in tooling and stamping. He had a two-tone project look just like that. I couldn't believe how beautiful it was. I said, how do you do that with the resist? He said, it's not resist, it's painted on. Wait a minute, that's painted on. That's the way I've always done it, and I've always considered that to be wrong. Well, evidently not. That's going to give us our best outcome. Now, if you're good with a resist, we've got a great one, RTC, and it's good. But to me, I want something that's going to absolutely resist the dock. So therefore, let's do this. Now, I didn't want to show this pick, but this is just a swatch. This is three coats given about 36 hours of dry time with a resist. Now, in my opinion, that's nothing more than an antique. And in fact, to me, it looks relatively rough, okay? Here's the alternative. Let's jump over to a pick of this gun strap, all right? Look at that. Is that not spot on perfect? So what I've done here, I've dyed the body in a light brown pro dye. Easy enough, let that dry. Then I've come back in with just a small paintbrush and I've painted in my black dye. Doesn't take too long. We're only doing one coat. And when we paint dye on, dries very quickly. But how clean and crisp is that? That's exactly what I'm looking for. So I don't want, like Big Pharma, I don't want Big Resist coming after me, right? So if you have good luck with Resist, keep going. But for the rest of us, if we don't, just pick up a paintbrush, a little bit of dye, and you will be surprised at what you're able to do. I hope this is good information for you. Thanks for taking time to watch The Leather Element. Good luck with your projects.